I'm gonna have you introduce this one. What's this one? Perpetrator. It's all about women. So you want me to figure. introduce it? Yep. What do you mean? I want you to start the video and. I'm so bad at doing that though. All right. I'll give it a couple shots then. If if you mess up, tell me when I start over. That's fine. How do you? What do you always say? Like. Welcome back to Sinister no, Cinema. I never <laughs> say that. <laughs> All right, like, welcome what's back. What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah. Do your thing. You don't have to be me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> welcome back to Sinister Cinema. Uh, Jason wants me to introduce this movie, and I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Perpetrator. If anyone needs to know why <laughs> Kaylee doesn't talk as much and I'm the one who talks a lot more, here. Use this as an example. She has terrible anxiety about talking anyway. <laughs> so trust me, if I don't talk, it'll be silent. I let her talk when she wants to talk and I talk. The rest of the time, <laughs> yeah. okay? That's how we like it. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> perpetrator. Um, this is a new Shutter original that we watched last night, and this is definitely gonna piss off some insecure dudes. Oh my god, I can't wait. For can't them. handle women being represented represented in a like more a domineering way and that shit's always so funny to me because it always shows to me how like it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy right yeah it's, it's, it's always like you're being a little bitch 100%. <laughs> like you're proving your yeah. own fear is true yeah if you're worried that women are gonna look more like a, a masculine or something than you then you are I don't it's know what to tell you. That anyway, was that, but yeah, I just—it's just funny to me. Anytime yeah. guys get all up in arms about women have being portrayed in more masculine ways, it just—it's I don't know. It illustrates to me the the, the problem. It's not. Anyway. I would say that it's also not even masculine ways. It's just that they don't like non-traditional female perspective stories. Yeah. So this movie is about uh, this girl who is living with her father. Her mom ditched out when she was pretty young and she's getting herself into trouble. Um, and then she goes to live with her aunt right before her 18th birthday and she starts attending a new school mm -hmm. and she learns about the lineage of her family and that there is this kind of I don't I don't know if it's a I guess it's just something you're born with and it comes on on your 18th birthday but it's essentially it's called the forevering um, and they are mimics mm -hmm. um, shapeshifters shapeshifters so yeah, this is this is definitely a pretty bizarre movie for sure, done very artistically, and is going to be fairly off-putting to a good amount of people who watch it. But um, I definitely want to get Kaylee's take on it first because I'm a man <laughs> and I'm just going to be subservient <laughs> and know my place in this world because it's now a woman's world. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because Hollywood has changed us all into pussies. <laughs> and women are going to rule now. <laughs> Bro, let women rule. Maybe <laughs> things will be better. They will be. I loved this film. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I was really into it the entire time. I think it's so surreal and weird. And one of the like reviews in the trailer is that it's like Lynchian. And that's 100% hundred percent accurate but i love that vibe i like the really bizarre reality adjacent like just all the weirdness it works so well and i also think that there's a ton of really awesome imagery and 
like the brutality in it fits so well and it's contrasted by the female experience and I think that the pairing of those two things like it just really impacted me in a great way it feels it felt very satisfying but also really heartbreaking and scary and I just think that there was a lot of stuff packed into it and it's a film that I think would really service with rewatches for me because I think there's a lot of stuff in there that I missed or not not missed but just you know could interpret further yeah I suppose but yeah it's great it's just the seeing seeing the monstrous female seeing the that is always something every time we watch a film like this where it's about women and they're being violent and they're not the cookie cutter perfect like you know 50s version of a woman that so often is in Hollywood they're angry you know like and they're expressing that and there's all these other emotions too that are just I think a lot of women have to suppress and hide because it's not what's expected of us. Like people really want just women to smile all the time and be pretty and like that's it. They want to be objects. And I think this film does a really great job at taking, you know, female characters and artistically portraying what it's like to be a woman. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the what's the female version of phallic? What's the phallic imagery? Oh, I don't know, but there's a lot of that in this. Yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> I don't know. Please tell me in the comments. I know that there's a word for it. I mean, that's how... Oh, is it like yonic? Or... Oh, maybe. I don't know. That's how, that's how dominating men are in the world, is we all know what phallic imagery know, is, but the I other know. the other side of it, like yeah. vaginal imagery and, and more female, uh, you know, body parts... Uh, anyway, yeah, there's a lot of vagina imagery in this, this and, is great. And, and dealing with um, the menstrual cycle and yes. stuff like that. Yes. Um, so yeah, I, do I think that this caters a little bit more towards women? Sure. Is that a bad thing? No, of course not. Um, I mean, how many men? How many movies are male driven and are like very phallic in like? It, it, don't even. There's so many. So um, many. I I like the movie. I think that the weirdness is its strong suit, and eventually, it's kind of weakness for mm. me in the end because I don't feel like it landed everything for me that it was going for. I I kind of just I left scratching my head a bit at certain places, and then. It's weird because this is a film that's incredibly vague in places, but then also has some heavy-handed exposition in other places mm. where it didn't... You usually get one or the other. You usually get a movie that's super vague, right? And then you get the movie that's like, over explaining itself to the audience and you're like come on i get it and you usually want to try to find something that lands a little more in the middle um but with this one there was just places where i did find it to be like and this is why this is happening and this and this and this and i was like okay come on like we could figure some of this stuff out for ourselves let's move on and then there's other places where i'm like what I felt like that was a style choice um, that kind of was that reality adjacent where the over explanation uh, it, it's it's kind of the same way when we talk about Wes Anderson dialogue and stuff yeah where it's very on the nose and it sort of is serving a purpose by being very obvious and like over explaining yeah um, but I yeah I mean, Lynch is definitely something that I can liken this to, to a degree for sure. Another thing, even though this doesn't remain as dark comedy, there are certain moments where some of the dark comedy is there, mm -hmm. but those scenes in particular, there's one with a school shooting, stuff like that. That feels more like a Heathers mm. where the characters and the reactions and the dialogue is all, like she said, reality adjacent. And it's like, 
nobody reacts. Yeah. Nobody acts like this. That this isn't reality, but that that's art. That's yeah, it's that's, very artistic. You know, that's what it's trying to be. So, um, I love that scene too. I think that like everything with the school and these drills that they do, and especially how the principal talks to the girls. Like there's a there's a lot of commentary on what it's like to be a woman, and there's like so many phrases yeah. of like like the one thing that repeats is this. I know this is bad, but it can always get worse. And like, you need to always be like running or like ready to fight or whatever. Like there's all these just different um, slogans. I don't know what to call them. That yeah. kind of pop up that the the principal is like telling this this group of teenage girls. Yeah. And I just really empathize with it because it's it the dark comedy, I think, works because, you know, there's so many times when like we've even talked about it, the difference between being a man and a woman, like when you're out in the world and in public. Like there are things that I have to do as a woman to be safe that you would never even think about necessarily doing. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of comedic because there's like, you know, you, it's sort of using comedy to cope <laughs> with it, right? Yeah. Because it's like, wow, I can't believe the world is so dangerous for women. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> there's some very bizarre imagery in here. You have a bigger than a cameo. <laughs> It's like a maybe five to seven minutes of screen time for Alicia Silverstone. Mm -hmm. uh, the main actress who plays our lead here, Johnny, right? I thought uh, it was. I don't remember her name. I'm pretty know... sure it's Johnny, isn't it? It's some. It's something like that. It's it's a. It's like more of like a. It's a unisexish name, but more male. Oh, uh, maybe. But whatever. I'm sorry, I don't remember. She is great. Yes. Um, yeah, she's wonderful. The. It, yeah, you definitely leave the film kind of scratching your head a bit, but I think, as Kaylee said, multiple rewatches mm -hmm. would probably help that. Um, it's not a film I have really much interest in revisiting, mm -hmm. but I think Kaylee would definitely rewatch it. I would love it. to, and I, for me, I don't feel like, even though there's maybe questions for sure that I have, um, I didn't feel super confused or anything i do no, feel like i, I understand i think lost. i think it's a movie that you can understand yes. what's happening i just think that there are there's a lot packed into it yeah. that's all yeah which it, i like and for me is a good thing for other people i can totally see this film not working you know if you don't like david lynch if you don't like that style it's you know it's just not going to work for you unfortunately sure so you gotta like you know more unique um, and definitely <laughs> unique, bizarre, ambiguous, mm -hmm. feminist yeah. movies uh, to like this one. Oh, so, it's so good. If that's not something, if that, that all sounds like poison to your ears, then of course don't, <laughs> don't watch it. It's so good that there's so many really cool scenes and everything with like the shape shifting ability and the faces. Oh, yeah, the face. I love that. I That's, don't know how much I love that effect, but I love it. It's it's interesting. I really love it. It's and I like and then I also feel like there's a lot of commentary with it too yeah. of like, you know, women kind of having to shape shift sometimes, but um I just was really into it. I think it's an awesome film. It's honestly probably going to be in my top films of the year right now like yeah. i was super into, she, she was it, super into it and sure. uh yeah so all right well it's currently streaming on shutter it dropped yesterday um i i think we did our part yeah i hope mm -hmm. so anyways all right